You want to know how to, uh, I can't. Jake is way too, it's way too hot. <laughs> All the cutaways are going to have the sweater in it. It's too hot. I'm taking it, taking it off. You want to know how to prevent hair loss? Well, you need to go vegan. I've been wanting to make a vegan cruelty free skincare products video. Vegan, vegan, vegan. <laughs> I get the question, am I going bald, like, all the time. You see one strand of hair on your pillow, and then you start freaking out. Okay, you just you stop, you don't need to stress. Don't need to stress out. However, hereditary hair loss is an actual thing. People will um, experience it at some point in their life. Some people do experience this earlier on than others. So I've got a few tips for uh, some baldness prevention slash helping slow down that process, um, whether you have hair loss happening right now or whether you might have it in the future. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's start out with some of the basic tips and then we'll get a bit more detailed. Hair damage and hair and hair and dry hair. These are two factors that play a big role in hair loss. Blow drying your hair can make it look great, but if you do it too often, it can start to dry out. What are some tips to help uh, prevent this from happening? Use heat protectant before you blow dry. I have said this in the past. Heat protectant is not just a gimmick, it is a serious um, a, a damage prevention tool that you should be using before you blow dry your hair to make sure that it doesn't dry out. It adds a protective layer around your hair that helps to reduce damage. Heat protectant can be found in certain sprays, lotions, creams, and my uh, definite favorite, Original Bob Blumon. <laughs> So heat protection is good, but what if you need to kick it up a notch? Get some even, get some more health, get more, some more health in your hair. If you're experiencing damaged hair, think about adding a leave-in conditioner into your hair styling routine. A good leave-in conditioner should lock in moisture into your hair throughout the whole day, making it softer and feel healthy without adding a grease or oily effect. Leave-in conditioners are designed to go in before blow drying, so as a pre-styler, I like to layer them up. I use the leave-in conditioner for uh, lots of health, adding, you know, health and, and nourishment back into the hair, and then I'll layer that with, like, Original by Bloom On for the control. Keep in mind, you don't want to put too much um, leave-in conditioner. Otherwise, it will feel noticeable after you finish blow drying. This one that I've got right here, this is a good one. Um, I will link it in the description. It has a lot of organic extracts. I like it, got it from Amazon. Healthy hair oils are a good alternative. Argan oil being one of my personal favorites. I wouldn't use argan oil and leave-in conditioner, but uh, one of the other would, uh, would do you some good. Now let's talk a little bit more scientifically. A few things that you can do if you're pretty serious about uh, helping to prevent some hair loss. This first one is actually pretty simple, and that is the consumption of vitamin C. Mm. <sighs> <coughs> Vitamin C helps to build collagen and collagen is good because it's a special combination of amino acids that helps uh, promote hair growth. So getting a good amount of vitamin C into your diet is actually important and will help uh, benefit your hair's growth. In addition, vitamin C also helps the absorption, absorb, helps to absorb uh, iron. And this is also good because iron is good for your hair. Now, iron deficiency on its own is not gonna be solely responsible for um, hair loss, but it has been linked that people who don't have enough iron do experience more hair loss than people with the right amount of iron. Just end of the day, vitamin C is good for a lot of different reasons. Make sure that you're getting your daily dose. I'm not gonna take another bite. So this next and final piece of advice is only for those of you who really uh, genuinely need a solution. And this, my friends, is ketoconox, ketoconzole. Ketoconazole. 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 Dang it. Ketoconazole. This is ketoconazole. It's 
quite the mouthful. So ketoconoctazole is actually an anti-fungal uh, used to fight dandruff. Some companies include ketoconoctazole canol into their um, shampoos and advertise it as fighting dandruff, which yes, it does do that very well. Um, but in addition, it also reduces the production of testosterone in your hair, which in turn reduces the amount of DHT, which is way too long of a phrase to actually say, so you can just read it right here. But the point is that DHT is a hormone that is known to cause hair loss. Less DHT, more hair. Yeah. Now DHT in general is not actually bad for your body. You can look it up. Uh, in your own time if you want to know more about it, but it's not necessary in your when it's actually in your hair And it is in fact one of the main causes for male pattern uh, baldness That's DHT that is. Ketocophonocolozolicanol can target this DHT that's found in your hair and help to reduce that And when used often enough uh, can actually help to start getting that hair back that you might be losing But you got to use it, you know, pretty consistently for a number of months at least. Now finding a good shampoo that includes ketocophonazole, or it's not gonna be the cheapest. This shampoo right here, which is called Nizoral, anti-dandruff shampoo. This is known to be one of the better options out there for people um, who are, who need that ke that <laughs> ketocophonazole thing. This is only 60 millimeters and I bought this for something like six pounds. So it's not like you're using it every day, that being said, um, you'll go through it pretty quick. I will have this link in the description of from where I got it. It was Amazon, Amazon is where I got it. That's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Um, if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed, I would much appreciate, appreciate it very much if you click the subscribe button and also click the like button on this video because that helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. A short recap of the of what I talked about will be in the description down below. Um, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna see everybody next time.